we started the Lavender Festival four years ago after a couple of years of me constantly saying, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. My sister, who worked with me then, said, no, no, you're ready. And we were being promoted by an organization called Handmade in America. And they said, Marilyn, we have no idea how many people will come, but if you have enough porta johns, people will think you cared. So we think we did, and we have more this year. Uh, we had 600 people come to the very first Lavender Festival, and now we're up to between 900 and 1,000 people each time. So it's quite a large festival for our area. It's one of the largest in Yancey County. And we have a kind of a well-oiled machine going now. We have a lot of vendors. We have a festival cafe that, like Brigadoon, it just comes to life once a year for the festival cafe. And different people have been caterers at that event, and it's very popular for food on the farm. And they also feature some of our culinary lavender. There are an awful lot of cooking products made from lavender, and we make many of them on the farm. At the festival, we have um, a tour of the gardens with tips on cultivating and plants for sale. Then we have a children's workshop that goes on all day. Last year they made scarecrows that we put up on the farm afterward. Um, we have a um, massage chair. We have musicians. And as people have come um, and, and loved the lavender, loved being in it and smelling in it and feeling even like you might be in the south of France here between the goats and the lavender and the beautiful mountains, um, it's extremely popular, more than we ever imagined. And it is medicinally uh, effective. The lavender soap on your skin has really good qualities for that. It's a uh, healing kind of thing for sores and scrapes and um, people that have eczemas and so on use our soaps and our lotions. So um, it's, it's really got a very wide range of things that you can do with the lavender. So I think that's one of the reasons it's so popular. The festival is already of a size that it has spilled over into the valley. There are other restaurants that stay open the two days of the festival. Uh, there are uh, craft studios that will be open um, for the Lavender Festival, and we promote them. We send people down to the campground to get into the South Toe River and swim with their children, to go to the other restaurants, to go to the other studios. There's quite a bit to do in Yancey County, so when you come to the festival, you don't have to spend it all here. You can see an awful lot of the Black Mountains, the South Toe River, the town of Burnsville, which is adorable with a square and lots of interesting shops and restaurants in it. So when you come here, there's really a lot more to do than just the festival.